Good evening, everyone. Yes, you heard me correctly. It is the evening. It's Saturday evening. It's about 7.45 p.m. on June the 4th, 2022. And this video is part number 20 of my 2022 Mexico series. Once again, coming to you from the city of San Luis Potosí. I bet you thought you had seen the last of this city in the last video. But as I said in that one, there was going to be a special bonus one, which is this video. It's once again one of my 30 minute, one, one shot videos in 30 minutes in 4K for you to take a look around San Luis. And actually today is a bit of an experiment because for those of you that know anything about cameras, you'll know that filming in low light conditions and also darkness can be a challenge because some cameras, like mine, <laughs> aren't very good in those conditions. So you may see the image quality deteriorating throughout this video, but like I said, it's an experiment. Sunset is in about 30 minutes. So you will see it get noticeably darker throughout this video. Sexy. Gracias, Mr. Taxi. That guy's got a Jurassic Park t-shirt on. I watched Jurassic World Dominion last night. Anyone seen it yet? Let me know what you think down below. Obviously, I thought it was brilliant. I'm a big Jurassic Park fan. You've probably noticed in San Luis, the architecture is very grand. You know, it gives me that impression of like government buildings that you see, even in countries like Latvia and places like that in Eastern Europe that can have that very much governmental feel to buildings. Let's go this way. Of course, you'll know this from the last video and my other SLP videos, that's the Cathedral Metropolitana ahead of us. As with all of my walk around videos, you'll notice I often mention copyrighted music and having to escape from copyrighted music because of a possible copyright claim. Obviously being Saturday evening, there could be possible more risk of that with restaurants and bars, etc. But I will do my best to avoid that. I'll touch on that again in a little bit actually. Once again, the recent femicide activism, I guess you would call it, protests. As the night comes, you have this wonderful purple glow. As the lights start to go on.
isn't that even more iconic at this time of night well evening twilight you know the sun's going down and it just makes that terracotta burnt orange color just look even more vibrant i've already checked there's some sort of service going on in the cathedral so obviously i can't storm in there with a camera unfortunately we can take a little quick look though Hola amigo. ¿Cómo estás? Oh, he's busy. Mexi dog. <laughs> hmm, perhaps that's a wedding or something, I don't know. A lot of weddings happen in this cathedral. It's Again, well known for that. I even know people who have got married in this cathedral. It's amazing, right? As a former woodwind instrument player, he's a little bit flat, <laughs> but he's doing a good job. Trust me, something like a saxophone clarinet, it's incredibly difficult. Played the clarinet for six years. And to do that out in public, takes some balls, I swear. For those of you that have spent some time in Mexico, for those of you that have been to places like Guanajuato, San Miguel, I know they're not my most favorite places in the world, but you know, places like that have, you know, a lot of this live music and performers out on the streets. Kind of reminds me of that. Is this copyrighted? I think it might be. Okay, no, it's okay. Okay, let's keep away from that music. Just on what I said earlier, in the Culiacan 4K walk around video from last year, I did make a bit of an error. I did feature too much copyrighted music. So I had to edit that. There is a way of doing it, but it's not the most simple thing to do. You have to basically mute the audio completely and then add in appropriate sound effects such as crowd noise, um, like leaving like Latin music in the background, you know? and voices as well you know i think i uh pulls it off but <laughs> oh no we've got to go this way look at the color on these buildings as the sun starts to set
yeah over there there's uh what looks like a bar yeah they've always got music playing like a three-story restaurant over there so hence we're not heading over into that direction here's the teatro that was featured in the last one. Oh, there's something else going on here too oh graduation oh congratulations felicidades amigos y amigas oh let me get out of the way of their pictures sorry I don't want to, you know, ruin their graduation photos with me in the background. That would be the worst. <laughs> okay, there's Alameda, Parque Alameda, down that way. Shall we go to San Sebastian? Or shall we go to kind of where I'm staying, which is in the opposite direction? Brilliant. Uh, let's do San Sebastian because honestly where I'm staying is a bit of a grotty area you know well, not grotty but like you know it's not the cleanest there are some hookers around that's fine believe it or not where I come from was full of hookers I didn't grow up in Hogwarts like many people seem to think that's a um, ongoing joke <laughs> on this channel Italian coffee company gotta say it's not great I'm a Starbucks whore, sorry. Which isn't great either. Let's go this way. Because there's a building up there, which honestly, I don't think I've ever seen before. It was probably here the last time I was here, but I didn't recognize it. Come on, people. YouTube video in progress. Excuse me. Oh yes, there's the uh, Cineteca Alameda up there. The classic building. San Sebastian is down to the right. That's where I stayed originally back in 2019. Very quiet, very, very, very residential. But nice, you know, it's kind of like a Pueblo Mexico. got the uh, street performer juggler guy if you haven't seen that before like you know if you're from Mexico you will know what these guys are doing they're obviously performing at traffic lights to um, earn a bit of money you know some of them are very sort of talented like they do various different things you know oh wow look at that light the fairground over there Right, let's cross. <clears throat> Sorry, I keep clearing my throat. That building is just iconic, isn't it? I think the uh, the grey of the cloud kind of adds to the mood. Oh, it's quite windy. Let's uh, go to the fairground. I know what you're saying. You're probably going to say there'll be copyrighted music there, David. There might be, but obviously I can't hear any yet. We'll see. <laughs> Remember the uh, little fairground in Cockerit in uh, Sonora that was, oh I hear music, that was kind of abandoned. Well it wasn't abandoned, it was just because it was Monday and everyone was sheltering from the heat. Um, this looks a bit, you know, more well maintained. <laughs> Okay, Dios mio, there is music over there. Uh, let's cut through the park, let's go.
<clears throat> yeah, let's check out that building over there, actually. Um, honestly, I don't know what it is. Uh, and I haven't got my phone with me <laughs> to check on Google Maps. Brilliant. So let me know what it is. It's very modern. It's almost like something you would see in uh, Los Mochis or uh, Obregón. I remember the cathedral from Oregon. Oregon? Obregón. <laughs> it's been a long day, all right? I filmed two videos today. <laughs> train in the distance there is a, a train line if you come from the bus station and walk into San Luis you will cross the bridge um, if I remember correctly a lot of the trains there go all the way up into the US because I'm sure I remember seeing things on there like Kansas or something I don't remember look at that look at the colors on that church in these lights with the Sort of black cloud behind. Oh God, is it going to rain? Could this be a wet 4K walk around dark video? Oh well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Not an actual bridge, you know what I mean. I don't think I'm going to cross the road because it's just a bit of a nightmare as you can see up there it's um, like the main road that heads out of the city I think a storm may be coming, it is getting windier. Okay, I know where I'm going, let's head this way. Sun going down over there, we've got another, uh, ooh, 11 minutes of walking in this video sunset will be a little bit after that because I kind of didn't want to do it in absolute darkness you know cut through there it's quite dramatic isn't it Yeah, this is the other road that comes in to San Luis. This is uh, the direction I came from the bus station on the uh, on one of those local buses over there. This road is always a bit of a nightmare, like the Champs Elysees in uh, Paris. Obviously, I'm exaggerating a bit. It's not that bad. Well, the um, Angel de Independencia in CDMX. Almost an accident there, did you see that? 
<laughs> they came within an inch of each other. Classic Mexico drivers. <laughs> okay, can you hurry up, please? I need to cross. Okay, I'm just going to go for it after this uh, car here. Gracias, gracias. That's the way I got. What am I saying? See you later. Oh, look, there's the train down there. In the distance. Shall I zoom? I shall. Lots of uh, trailers. Very long trains, you know. And here we have the railway museum, Ferrocarril, which now I can't pronounce. Dressmaker's place there? For those of you that are regulars, you know I've spent a lot of time recently in the north, in Chihuahua, Sonora, Sinaloa, where, you know, buildings like this yeah, they exist, but they're not as uh, as common in terms of that kind of dilapidated colonial aspect with those colours, with the lovely green there on that building. And that yellowy, browny, orange colour, I don't even know what you would call that, mustard? That's so Mexico. Okay, this way we're kind of heading back into Centro. I actually stopped here to have a cigarette when I got off the bus. And a guy asked me if I wanted him to take a uh, photo of me. Obviously I look like a gringo. <laughs> yeah, in here, obviously Railway Museum, there are trains here. Honestly, I don't really know much about these trains. Do they have a particular usage or meaning? I don't know. Honestly, I've never been to this museum. I've just walked past it about a million times. Let me know down below. Helados, Santa Elena, Santa Elena ice cream. Before we get back to a little bit of civilization, I'll just touch on why I wanted to do a video around this time, like, and I might do some more around darkness. I do get comments sometimes along the lines of, oh, it's a shame you didn't get to go out at night when you were in insert location. Um, obviously I do go out at night, <laughs> but because of the aforementioned lighting issue, I generally try to get all filming done before the sun starts to fall because I really want top notch quality videos, you know? But today I thought, why not do something different? I, uh, I have done darkness videos before in the past and I'm, I'm very much speaking from experience in that they're bloody awful. It's like they've been filmed on a phone or something. Oh, look at that. Someone's crashed into that by this car park. We have Cinco Mexi Dogs. I'm like Owen Grady in Jurassic World with the uh, Velociraptors. Warning, Mexi Dogs. <laughs> okay, I think I've got to go this way. 
Sí. Remember in the uh, Wyman's video, I talked a bit about kind of concrete structures and car parks and things that also in Ada Masio that had this kind of European feel, you know, like it feels like I'm in the UK, you know, walking through like a regular residential area or somewhere like Belarus. It's, uh, it's very sort of un-Mexican, if you know what I mean. Not that there is a thing that absolutely defines Mexican, you know, like anywhere. But, you know, this, I feel like I'm in Latvia, in Riga or in Belgrade, Serbia. It again goes to show that, you know, central areas of cities in Mexico are often very nice, but uh, other areas may not be. All right. Yeah, we're heading back to civilization now over this road. Not sure what this is. Yeah, I saw this coming from the uh, bus the other day. Oh, Dios mío. Mucho tráfico en Sabado Noches. Oh. Okay, this way. Oh, well, thanks for stopping that music. Now, I might actually continue a little bit, make it a bit longer. What do you think? To when it actually gets properly dark. I've got time. Oh shit. No, right, that way. Um, yeah, because why not? Uh, let's see what it's like getting a bit dark because I've only got two minutes left of my original plan. I want to kind of get back to where I'm staying. Opticians closing for the day. I don't know about you, but one thing I do like about making these videos is, you know, when I'm making them, I don't notice the kid there playing with a balloon or people waving or whatever. But when I watch it back, I then see all these things and it's quite fascinating to see what people are doing. You know, it's like people watching to see their just normal behavior, you know, that we don't often notice. Um, oh, yes. One of the many churches up there in this interesting um, sculpture. Cruces de Santiago. Can't remember what that is. Clearly I've forgotten everything about SLP. There's a homeless guy to my right on the ground there, you might have seen. So yeah, there is uh, some homelessness in SLP. That's with everywhere in the world. If you hear me making random grunting noises in this video, that's because I'm still suffering with my uh, pelvis and um, I also have new shoes, so I'm wearing them in. I don't like to make it easy for myself, do I?
I did go out last night actually, that's kind of where I got the idea to do this, it was about midnight. No, just before that, I was looking for OXO to get cigarettes, but it turns out Google Maps was lying to me and it closed at 10pm. So I just went for a walk around my local area near the hotel that I'm in. Yes, I'm in a hotel, that never normally happens. Um, and it was quite interesting that these streets were just absolutely deserted, obviously it's a bit early at the moment. <laughs> It also been raining as well. I kind of wish I had uh, filmed this last night. Yeah, here we go. Like streets like this, just completely quiet. Shutters down, graffitied, police sirens. Where's that music coming from? I think it's okay. <clears throat> oh, it is loud actually. Let's do a runner. Oh, it's Modatella, that shop. It doesn't seem to be getting dark, does it? Sunset's meant to be around now. Google was clearly lying. Oh yeah, sorry we've gone a little bit over our usual 30 minutes. But I don't care. This guy still looks really blue that way, doesn't it? Now this is actually where I'm staying, Hotel Insurgentes. But don't think you can come and find me here because by the time I upload this, I'll be long gone. <laughs> I'll actually be in Torreon once again in Cahuilla. So yeah, videos at the moment are about three hours, three behind real time. We have music. Oh, it was just a car. It was okay. I thought it was a shop. What have they got for sale here? Yeah, usual stuff. Little bags of chips, different color, uh, different flavors. She shut on at the top there. Hola. That was just a random, by the way. I didn't know that woman. Farmacia <laughs> del Ahorro. That's where I got a COVID test. Um, I'm not sure if you still have to get them. I guess it depends on the country. That building is a little bit Art Deco, isn't it? With that bit jutting out and the, uh, the tall windows going up there. Oh yeah, this is where I was walking last night, in the dark. 
Jurassic World Dominion t-shirt over there voila with uh, blue on the raptor This is the sort of time on a Saturday that Mexico starts to slow down a little bit, believe it or not. I think a lot of people think that Mexico is this 24 hour country, maybe Mexico City, if you could say a little bit of that, but actually no, I wouldn't say that. Like residential areas in Mexico City are generally dead, not a soul on the street after about 11, like in Narvate or uh, Portales, places like that. I've really been in Mexico for far too long, haven't I? Okay, amigos. About 37 minutes, we've gone over a little bit. I'm gonna have a shower and go to bed because I've got to be on a bus tomorrow to Torreón. I'm gonna be staying there as a base for four weeks. Oh, obviously I'll be filming videos in and around the area. Thanks for watching. I hope you've liked SLP. This is the final goodbye to SLP on this random street next to a Neveria. Oh, as I get run over. <laughs> okay, see you in Torreón. Adios, amigos.